Another of the uh, leading ladies of the time was Dr. Helena Wink, the first doctor in Dakota Territory, first lady doctor in Dakota Territory. By the first decade of the 20th century, she was well established as a physician in Jamestown and the surrounding community. She was also known as a gardener, and each Saturday morning would bring a bouquet of cut flowers to the church altar. She was not known for her artistic skill, and haphazard arrangements of flowers were called the Dr. Wink arrangements <laughs> by church women uh, for many years. So at this time, let's welcome Jackie Tarpinian as Dr. Helena Wink. Today I am Dr. Helena K. Wink. When I graduated from eighth grade, they gave me a teacher's certificate to teach school. And I taught school in my community for $13 a month. And I saved that money and was able to go into the University of Michigan, into medical school, and I became a doctor. I came here after I graduated I moved here in August of 1883. Yes, why did I come to Jamestown? Well, I came to Jamestown because we were a very large family. Our parents had died, and my brother Joseph brought nine of my siblings with him, and they homesteaded up north of Cleveland. So I had family here. There was a good reason for me to come to Jamestown. Was I married? Yes. Um, I was a Knauf before, K-N-A-U-F. Maybe some of you knew my brothers, Art and John. They are attorneys here in Jamestown. And, uh, but I married Matthias Wink. He was a uh, teamster on the Fort Totten Trail and also worked in the police department here in Jamestown, and we had one son. You're wondering what kind of doctoring I did? Um, I did whatever was necessary. I wanted to help and I wanted to heal people. And uh, there were times when I was out in the country. Um, I lived with these people in a couple of blizzards where I was out there for a couple of days at a time and I would bake and clean and deliver babies and do whatever needed to be done. And I did deliver about 5,000 babies um, in the 53 years that I was here. Oh, and Lizzie's stuff, nine years old, appendicitis attack, very, very sick little girl. And uh, so I knew she needed to have an appendectomy, and I brought her to my home. We didn't have a hospital here. And I understand that that appendectomy was the first appendectomy in the upper Midwest. I would guess it was also the first one done on a dining room table. Did I take the train to my, see my patients? Um, well, it really wasn't. The train didn't often go where my patients were. But you know, I did take one to Pingree one time. Uh, it was called the Galloping Goose. And so I went out there on the Galloping Goose, and I took care of my patient. But there was, it wasn't coming back till maybe later that night or the next day. I don't remember. But there was a freight train in town, and so I went up and asked the crew if I could ride back with them. Uh-uh, no women in the caboose, no way. They would not let me do that. But there was a flat car there, and I threw my medical kit on it, and I got on, and I hitched a ride back to town. <laughs> I, what did you say, that I drove with reckless abandon? I, I don't agree with that. I mean, I'm a doctor. I came out of the driveway with my buggy, my team of sorrels, my whip, and I was going to an emergency of some kind. It was not my responsibility to look left or right. It was up to them <laughs> to look out for me. I, it was a matter of life and death. And when I heard that whistle coming from the west or from the east, I'm sorry, I did not have time to wait for a train. <laughs> and they said, and I think this is an exaggeration, I really do, 
they said that they had a fund down at the roundhouse to replace the crossing gates because I went through them. I admit I went through some, but I don't think I went through as many as they claimed that I did. But I don't really want to be remembered by the way I drove. I really want to be remembered for the accomplishments that I, I made in the medical history in this area. And so I hope that everyone will remember Helena K. Wink from that way. Helena, Helena Wink died as dramatically as she lived. She was cleaning, dry, dry cleaning in her home when the fumes burst into flame and made a human torch of her. They say there was an imprint of her body against the wall where she fell. But true to her nature, the whole time that she was conscious, she was giving directions to the doctors of how to ease her pain. And what else would you expect from a pioneer doctor like Dr. Helena Wink? Thank you.